Hey my dear friends, welcome to another exciting episode on must watch tips. I know, I know you are tired and even frustrated after spending hours wrangling with the slide layouts and design elements. But fear not, you are at the right place and in the right video. Because I am about to introduce you a game changing solution which is set to revolutionize the way you present your slides. Now we can say it that gone are the days of tedious formatting and endless tweaking. So I am talking about Gamma. And what does this Gamma does? Well, imagine having an access to a virtual assistant that understands your vision, anticipates your needs and brings your ideas to life with lightning speed. So whether you are a beginner or a professional presenter, Gamma is here to elevate your presentations to new heights of creativity and impact. And so that's all for the background of this uh, AI tool. And now without any further talks, let's uh, get into this video and let us see how we can make this awesome presentation using AI. So I'm here in my internet browser and I'll type over here gamma.awp and I'll hit enter. So it will lend you to the gamma home page. But as you have not signed in and we are new to this page, then it is asking us to sign up for free. So here you can see that it's a banner called a new medium for presenting ideas, which is powered by artificial intelligence. And below this, you can see a quick guide where you can start uh, using this gamma tool. So it will show you how you can utilize this tool and how quickly you can make the presentations. And as we scroll down, we can see that you have an option to create documents, decks and web pages in seconds. So, so not only PowerPoint presentations, it can create a document, web page and other decks using artificial intelligence in just seconds. You can even present live or send it to whosoever you want with the link, just like we do in the Google Slides. And you can even ask AI tool to modify the presentation according to your thoughts. So this is all basically about the home page and let us scroll up and let us sign up for free. So I'll click on this button and it will lend you to this page for signing up. So you can either continue with the Google account or you can uh, sign in via your uh, email and you need to answer some basic questions after you select your Google account or provide your email ID and then you will lend towards the home page and now we are at the main screen of the the gamma app so let us click on generate because we wanted to create a presentation using artificial intelligence so i'll click on continue and you have now three options a presentation document and web page so we want to create a presentation so we'll go with this option only and here we will describe what we wanted to make so let us say I want to make a presentation on AI advantages and disadvantages. So I'll write college presentation about pros and cons of AI in today's life. And let us hit that generate outline button. So it will give a brief outline of what this uh, presentation will look like after it will create a AI generated presentation. So there will be mostly eight topics in it and you can add a card if you want and you can edit this as well. Let's say you want to add one more in between this then you can add a card. And there are certain settings also. So first option is the amount of text per card. So if you want more text or the detailed text then you can select this option. But let us go with this medium option and it is good to have a, a presentation with less text and more explanation. So uh, let us go with this medium and now image source from web image search. We have certain options of AI images as well. And in this image license, you can select all images or uh, you can select free to use images in your presentation as well. And now let us uh, click on this continue. And in the next step, you need to pick a theme based on this suggested theme or you can just uh, sort it based on this like theme, dark theme or professional. So let us say I wanted to shuffle the theme. So I'll click on this. So if I click on this, it will give you uh, another presentation based on different theme and I can select it from here as well like this. And this is not the only 
step where you can select the presentation theme after you generate the presentation there will be an option to change the themes so for now let us go with this theme and i'll click on this generate option and it will start generating a presentation based on my thoughts which i initially inputted and see how quickly it creates the presentation for us the moment we click generate it start thinking and creating a presentation based on our ideas so now it has created almost eight slides and let us see one by one so the first slide is says that's introduction to ai and its applications and this quick image which has uh, posted over here on the left hand side it has added a uh, author over here as well the second slide you can see the image is how it is you know grouped in several sections so the advantages of ai in today's life even the disadvantages and even the background image which uh, it has set even it has suggested some future uh, of ai in different sectors along with machine learning and ai algorithms So basically this is the the raw form of slide which it has created now you can modify it so on the uh, right hand side we have certain options so the first is edit with ai so you can uh, type over here what you want to change for example some prompts are given over here uh, to suggest a professional theme or to put the key points into boxes like that so you can type in over here that change the images or something like that or add some disadvantages at some points more on the disadvantages and like that next option is that the card template so this is basically slide layout which we have in powerpoint so you can have different types of uh, slide layout for example you want to have image on the right hand side and text on the another side so you can select this layout and so on and so forth the next is layout template so this is basically smart layout kind of thing so you can directly pick one from over here let's say you wanted to have a slide with bullet layout so you can just pick it from uh, here itself for example you want to have circle stats layout then you can click and drag and drop over here like this one interesting thing about this is that uh, after you edit this number let us say i made it 90 then the the percentage portion of this is filled with 90 percent gets automatically refreshed for example if i make 30 percent or 40 percent over here then the the slider will move according to it this even works with bars and other stacks for example if i take this one oh, where does it go? so for example if i take this one the the slider one and let us say i wanted to make it 90 percent so it will uh, move this slider to 90% out of 100%. So this is one advantage over the PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint and Google slide because there you need to make it manually this 50% uh, to 60% or 90% the slide area or the, the percentage filled with this uh, bar. But here you can automatically uh, change the number and then the, the visuals will get reflected accordingly. So these are some layouts and templates which you can use. Now let us move to next the basic blocks. So this is basically about the text boxes, headings, the tables which we create, list and some other options. For example, math block, code, etc. The next option is of images where you can import the images or you can just provide a link from the web search. You can insert image from AI images as well and certain options of icons as well there you have an option to add videos and certain media options so from gallery you can import from youtube video so let us say i wanted to, to add a video from uh, youtube then you will drag and drop over here and then you just provide a link over here so whenever you present it will show the link of this and the preview of that particular video and same goes with embed apps and web pages so you can add a link from google drive let us say i wanted to add over here so you need to provide the link over here and press go you can even add buttons and forms over here let us say i wanted to add a button over here for the link so click here and after clicking that where do you want to land so you need to paste a link over here and here is a button to delete it let us say i want to to delete this uh, the google link so i'll delete this 
so these are the options what we have on the right hand side and on the top bar we have uh, a button to edit the theme so you can change the theme according to your uh, convenience from here and here you have an option to present so there are two options one in in this tab only and in the full screen so in if i press in this tab so it will present over this tab and if i click on full screen it will be the full screen presentation and the main thing of sharing this presentation so you can share this presentation to anyone with the link so you can provide the the access from here as well you can add email or people from here and even you can export this uh, powerpoint presentation uh, in terms of powerpoint itself or in terms of pdf as well uh, so you need to click over here to download this presentation and later if you wish you can edit it in microsoft powerpoint as well and this small icon is for the comments uh, to view the comments and this is the analytics button so you need to so if you want to see how many uh, people viewed your presentation or how many card engagement has been done so you can see from here yeah the analytics of your presentations and this is all about your account so even if you are using this tool for the first time you will hardly take 5 minutes to create a presentation out of it so i must say this is very user friendly tool and of course it's free so everyone can use it and you can make your presentation in just few minutes so my friends what do you think isn't gamma simply incredible i hope uh, this video has inspired you to take your presentation to the next level and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your fellow presenters thanks for watching and i'll catch you up in the next one goodbye